Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Thursday, October 1st. The Saugus man found guilty for molesting a developmentally disabled girl was sentenced Thursday to two years in prison. Kane Dean was convicted of engaging in oral sex with a developmentally disabled minor. The incident occurred in July in Saugus. Because this is Dean's second offense, he will also have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. He was convicted once prior to this incident for indecent exposure in the city of Glendale. It was a busy morning for the Valencia Water Company as emergency crews responded to a water main break in Stevenson Ranch early Thursday morning. The water main break was reported around 1.58 a.m. Thursday at the intersection of Stevenson Ranch Parkway and Pico Canyon Road. Emergency crews stopped the water flow between 4 and 5 a.m. Despite the break, no customers were left without water. The break happened in a 16-inch underground pipe and crews worked on it most of the day to replace it. The city of Santa Clarita was selected as a 2015 Helen Putnam Awardee by the League of California Cities. The city is the recipient of the Economic Development Through the Arts Award for the restoration of the Old Town Newhall Arts and Entertainment District. By investing in public infrastructure and the arts, the city transformed the less than vibrant area into the thriving Old Town Newhall District. This is the 33rd year the awards were given out and the fourth consecutive year that the city has received an honor from the League of California Cities. With the various conflicts in the Middle East and Afghanistan and prior worldwide military conflicts, the amount of veterans in the country continues to grow. One organization seeks to help those veterans in need with a service not typically found in common therapies. Our own Chris Kelso takes us closer with this unique organization. I'm out here at the TNT Ranch in Canyon Country where I had the opportunity to talk with the folks from a program called Because We Can, Because We Care, a unique program that's serving veterans and disabled kids using horses for therapy. My name is David Gerlius. I'm the president and founder of Because We Can, Because We Care. We rescue horses, rehab them, reprogram them, and then use them to provide equine therapy for our military coming back with challenges with civilian life. We also work with special needs and disabled children and all of our services are at no cost. We've revamped how we interact with the horse and it's once again based on that healthy relationship of building trust, confidence and respect. Uh, we have five horses and I've paid a dollar each for two of them and the other three were given to the nonprofit. My name is Jennifer Erickson. I was in the army. I'm a veteran. I was discharged in 2003. Working with the horses has helped me. It's, um, it's gotten me up and moving and given me exercise, a reason to get up and do something during the day because when I first started I was really depressed and I wouldn't do much of anything until I started coming here. Now I look forward to getting up and getting moving to come. Based on what the veterans have shared with me coming here, uh, a lot of them say they can sleep for the first night all the way through. Uh, it's being back to nature, working with the animals in a very carefree, easy, stress-free level. Um, knowing that, from the veteran's point of view, knowing that they're gonna be helping the horse and that they're rehabbing the horse or conditioning the horse to later on be used to do the therapy for the children uh, really puts a feather in their cap. It's a great experience. Get to be outdoors and working with the animals is just incredible. It's, it's, it's life-changing working with them. I've had a fantastic experience with it and I highly recommend it to anybody. If they do ask me, I'm gonna tell them about it, yeah. For more information and get involved with Because We Can, Because We Care, you can visit their website at bwc2.org. For SCV TV, I'm Chris Kelso. We're going to head into a quick break now, but when SCV Newsbreak returns, Castaic Middle School is cooking up something special, plus a sneak peek in the Parkway Motors Game of the Week and your local weather report. Visit Rancho Camulos Museum, where the history, myth, and romance of old California still linger. Docent-led tours, public and group, are available year-round. This nonprofit museum is a national historic landmark where the Californio lifestyle is preserved in its original rural environment. Explore an 1853 adobe, chapel, schoolhouse, and beautiful grounds. Rancho Camulos was also the setting for Ramona, the 1884 novel 
novel by Helen Hunt Jackson and was the location where the 1910 Mary Pickford Ramona was filmed. It is a perfect place to take out of town guests or have an outing with your family or group. The suggested donation is $5 for adults and $3 for children and students. Step back in time, only 10 miles west of the I-5 on Highway 126. Go to RanchoCamulos.org or call 805-521-1501 for details and the current tour schedule. Let's get started! Check out Sunsets on Main Street each third Thursday of the month from 7 to 11 p.m. in Old Town, New Hall. Cassiac Middle School is finding a way to help students succeed through food. CMS Home Economics class is the only one of its kind in the Cassiac Union School District. For teacher Karen Cowell, it's a way to help students learn valuable life lessons as well as their way around a kitchen. There are so many aspects of this class that I think are important uh, for kids. First of all, knowing what it is that they're putting into their body. Um, is it healthy? Is it nutritious? So we do a whole nutritional unit. The Dairy Council has a great curr curriculum that is free to teachers, so we spend some time on that. Um, learning how to measure, learning how to use a knife properly, following directions, believe it or not, following directions and working as a team is usually their biggest challenge. Uh, they like to go out of order because they want to get to the end so they can eat what they've made. Um, you know, having the ability to go to a store and shop and create something from what they've bought, understanding what goes in their food, and that they have an option always to make something for themselves. So there's a lot of life skills that I feel are really important in this class. Be sure to join us tomorrow night at 11 p.m. for the Parkway Motors High School football game of the week between the Ventura Cougars and the Hart Indians as we get our first look at New Indians quarterback Nick Moore who is having a strong start to his junior season as the Indians are off to a 3-1 start. Join Matt Robinson, Cesar Arevalo, and Aldo Canepa as they bring you all the action from College of the Canyons. The Cougars and the Indians in the Parkway Motors Game of the Week tomorrow night at 11 p.m. here on SCB-TV. Now turning to weather. Fall weather is coming slowly, but surely as temperatures drop to 88 degrees today. Expect overnight lows in the 60s. Look for rain to start Sunday leading into Monday with temps staying in the 70s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more information, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm George Cummings.